life? The bake sale won't make any money on muddy cupcakes. We can't go this way. Huh? It's Josh Sharp. Whoa! I'm confused. Don't you like Josh? Yes. No, I mean, I don't know. Um, explanation? <sighs> well, every time I go near him, something embarrassing happens. And then he says, Hi, but I can't think of anything to say, so I just laugh a stupid, goofy laugh. <laughs> oh, that is embarrassing. I know. So I've decided to just not ever walk by him. Never, ever, ever. Oh, Blythe, it can't be that bad. Hey, watch out for that Whoa! mud puddle. Uh, hey, Blythe. <laughs> it is that bad. Oh. You think about all the things that you love to do. It all comes true. about love. Yawn. Boring. Oh, Russell, don't you love movies about the prince who falls in love with the princess? No. I like movies where starships fly through space to new planets. <laughs> I like ones where someone falls down a lot. They're always funny. <laughs> See? <laughs> <laughs> Russell, I think you just haven't experienced love yet. Someday, you will see how amazing it is. Ha! 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 I will never fall in love. <laughs> uh, who are you? Name's Babalu. I was once just like you, pal. But then I saw the light, and I'll never go back to the way I used to be. <gasps> you fell in love. Tell us! Tell us! Yeah! We want to hear all the fabulous details. I remember it as if it happened just five minutes ago. Because it was so romantic? That and because it just happened five minutes ago. My owner and I were walking through the park on our way here, and there she was. At first, I didn't even notice her. But then I heard this music. I looked at her, and it was like... <laughs> oh, I've heard about this. They say there's a mysterious pet out there who goes around spreading love, like some kind of pet Cupid. <laughs> More like a Q-pet. <laughs> oh, 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 it's Lenny. She goes by the name The Secret Cupid. Romantic? I think it sounds dumb. Oh, I'm still so embarrassed. Why? Because you slipped in the mud and landed in front of a guy you may or may not like and then laughed a goofy laugh with cupcakes on your eyes? Pfft, that could happen to anyone. I still have crumbs in my eyes. Blythe, you need to confront your fears about having to talk to Josh. I've been doing a little research. Way back in the day, when someone wanted someone else to know how they felt, they did this thing called writing a letter. You write your thoughts down on a piece of paper, and then you put the address on one of these things. Then you put it all in a mailbox, and in a day or two, the person you addressed it to gets it. <laughs> Seems like a lot of work. Eh, let's just try it. Josh Sharp. 221 Poe Street. Oh no! Ah! I 
am not sending a letter to Josh. He won't actually send it. Once you get your feelings down on paper, you'll put it in this envelope, but instead of dropping it in the mailbox, you drop it in the trash. So it's like I'm throwing away all those embarrassing feelings. Exactly. Hmm. Dear Josh, in math class, I like when you go to the board and figure out one of the problems. Boring. Put some of your feelings into it. My feelings, huh? Okay. Oh, it is so wonderful and cute when I watch you find a true square root. <laughs> that enough feeling for you? <laughs> <laughs> I know that one plus one is two. Oh, I got it. But when I see you adding numbers, my insides turn to goo. <laughs> <laughs> Ba 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 oh, look at that silly kid. He's not hurting anyone. Yeah, and if we get more pets like this guy to entertain us, I'm all for it. He's a hoot. Well, I think it's ridiculous. Hey, what are you? This. Let go of me. Okay, that does it. This secret Cupid is just some sort of love vigilante who must be stopped. We need a detective. And by Jove, I think we've got one. Zero McFlip! Zero McFlip! Never mind that. We have got to catch this secret troublemaker, old chaps. Now who's with me? I'm with Russell. Oh, I mean Cyril McFlip. Let's catch the secret Cupid. Ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I don't want to end up like that guy. Me neither. I'm in. Oh, can I go too? I'd love to meet the secret Cupid. We're not going to make chums with this fellow Pennyling, but having you there might work well. Now then, here's what we're going to do, mates. Penny and I will pose as potential boyfriend and potential girlfriend. If this secret Cupid character sees us walking through the park, he's bound to try and make us fall in love. <laughs> okay. But he's going to fail because, Vinny, Sunil, you'll jump out and nab him red-handed. How will we recognize him? He just said, the secret Cupid will be the one with the red hands. Oh, blimey. There, I've just poured out my deepest feelings to Josh. Hey! <laughs> He's going to love to get this letter. Oh, no, you don't! <laughs> I was just kidding. I'd never do that to you, Blythe. <sighs> Signed, sealed, and never to be delivered. Which reminds me, I need to deliver myself to Sweet Delights. Gotta bake more cupcakes to replace the ones we ruined this morning. <laughs> See you, Blythe. I gotta admit, that was pretty fun. But now it's time to drop you in the trash. What is going on? Like, would you take us to the park right now? Please, please, please? Well, I wasn't planning on going out just now. Okay, okay. <sighs> Those sad puppy eyes always get me. Life, come on! Okay, okay. Blythe? Blythe, you in here? Huh? Would you look at that? A letter? <laughs> I haven't seen one of these in ages. How retro. <laughs> uh, she probably doesn't even realize that you actually have to mail it. <laughs> the kids these days. So, uh, what's with the mustache and wig? Oh, uh, we're just trying some new looks. Uh-huh. And the nets? Uh, uh, we're gonna catch butterflies. That is correct. It is a new hobby. Okay. So, you two wait in those bushes over there. Roger. Roger? Uh, okay, I've been calling him Russell all this time. <laughs> Penny Ling, you come from that side and pretend to just meet me. I'll be coming from the other way. <laughs> Hey there, panda bear. I'm just a single hedgehog without a girlfriend. Hmm. And I'm just a lonely panda girl, hoping to meet a nice guy, preferably a doctor. Um, what is this 
all about? Uh, we're uh, uh, just pretending. Okay. Well, you two enjoy yourselves. I'll be over there on the bench. No sign of the secret Cupid yet. I think you need to keep up the act. Tell me all the things that are so great about me. Oh, well, there's uh, your fur, which is very uh, furry. Uh, definitely furry. Oh, what else do you think is absolutely fabulous about me? Don't forget, we're not really being romantic, Penny Ling. We're just pretending. Oh, I know. Well, you were about to tell me how amazing I am? You're pushing it. Secret Cupid is my name. Some think I'm cuckoo. My secret's not too secret, though, because love's what I do do. There! Sugar Sprinkles, you're the secret Cupid? Aw, you're so cute. You got me. But I've also got you. You can love most anyone. It's happy and it's free. Go ahead and try it with the next pet that you see. Whoa, I suddenly feel funny. Penny Ling? <laughs> OMG! Sugar Sprinkles is the secret Cupid! Get her! <laughs> Why aren't you running after her, Russell? Sugar Sprinkles is the secret Cupid! Now that I think about it, what's the harm with secret Cupid? I mean, we could all use a little more love in this world, couldn't we? Especially with someone as amazing and adorable as Penny Ling. Is Russell okay? Well, hello there, pretty panda. Huh? Oh, right. We're pretending. But... Shh! Don't speak. I just want to gaze into your pretty panda eyes. We don't need words. We have the language of love. What's up, young me? You'll never guess who I just saw skating past the pet shop. <gasps> Josh Sharp. <laughs> Good thing I'm in the park. Looks like he was headed toward the park. OMG. <gasps> He's here right now. I've got to get out of here before I do something embarrassing. <laughs> Let's go. Park visit's over. Uh -huh. We have to stop meeting like this. Everybody, stay down. No, Minka, we're not playing hide and seek. We're closed! Uh, in the middle of the day? Oh, it's just you, Dad. Sorry. <laughs> just a little joke. Oh, <laughs> Blythe, you're such a card. And speaking of cards, I mailed that letter of yours. Letter? What letter? It was in your room, in a red envelope. You did what? Ah, uh, you don't have to thank me. You know, honey, you actually have to put letters in a mailbox if you want them to get to the person you wrote it to. I stuck a stamp on it! <laughs> the kids today. <laughs> Quick, Minka, jump inside! Look for a red envelope. <laughs> I don't see it! Wait! Here! Got it! <laughs> My letter is red. <laughs> Oops. Guess you forgot that monkeys are red, green, color blind. <laughs> no, 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 no! No! Uh, hey, Blythe. <laughs> Flowers for my oopsie whoopsie panda bear. That's very sweet, Russell. You shouldn't have. Candy? Oh, um, that's very nice of you, but I, uh, I don't really... Your favorite? Strawberry-flavored bamboo. Really, Russell? Oh. Mm. Mm. Oh. Tango? You 
No, señorita. They say Spanish is the language of love. Hola, tortilla. Feliz Navidad. Burritos. Oh, um, you know, Russell, you really don't need to be so nice to me all the time. Of course I don't need to. I do it in the name of romance, chivalry, love. Oh, uh, well, maybe you could take a break from the romance for a while. Nonsense! Love takes no vacations. Uh, no, that's too bad because I can't no. see one right now. Yo ho! So we are playing the hide and seek, huh? Well, ready or not, here I come. There it is, Josh's house. Here comes the mailman. Almost ready, Zoe. <laughs> Please, Blythe. The dog chasing the mailman is such a cliché. I'm trying to bring something new to it all. Well, he's almost here. Can you bring something new and say the next three seconds? Yes, yes. I'm ready. And action! <laughs> Zoe, what happened? Got me with the old squeaky toy trick. He's good. He's very good. Come back here, my darling enchilada. What has gone into our prickly pal? That secret Cupid has gone too far. You girls and your romantic notions. Us? We're just as fed up as you are with Don Juan to Russell. We gotta do something. Right. We'll march right out there to Sugar Sprinkles and demand she turn Russell back to normal. You can love most anyone. It's happy and it's free. Go ahead and try it with the next pet that you see. But before we go... Hey! What gives? Ah! Hey there! <laughs> My back doesn't usually go that way. What are you two doing here? Hiding from Finny and Sunil. <laughs> Secret Cupid put them under her love spell, just like Russell. Well, I think the coast is clear. Oh, señoritas! Feliz Navidad! No, <laughs> they're playing hard to get. That's okay. I've got the perfect plan to romance them back again. Phew! They're gone! That's a relief. I'll say. Uh oh! Uh -oh. Uh, what are we gonna do? We've gotta find sugar sprinkles. If she got him into this, maybe she can snap them out of it. Okay, on three, we make a break for it. One, two, three! You need to do something about your love songs! Your music has created a monster! Three monsters! Oh, you grumpy poos. You're just not used to all that love when it comes your way. You'll get used to it. Besides, I'm not sure how to reverse my love song magic. Okay, that's just wrong. Hmm, I've never tried to reverse the spell before. Let's see. Hey! Snap out of it! Hmm, that didn't work. Maybe if I try singing my love song backwards. Terkis dip ook, see I may muskint my ook ook. I'm Terkis ton ook, Terkis oak, that's for twa I ook ook. It's so gross! Oh. What the, huh? Oh, thank you, Sugar Sprinkles! You got the boys to stop bugging us! Aw, uh, you don't have to thank me. Thank her? Are you out of your mind? Sugar Sprinkles, you made us act ridiculous! Hmm, no offense, but I kinda prefer the lovey dovey Russell to this Russell. Take a listen to this. Uh, no! Come on, Russell. You know you love this one. Uh, hey, wait for us! Stay away from me! Come back! It's a good song! Stop, sugar! 
Coco Sprinkles! I'm put that ukulele down! Mailman's headed for Josh's house next. I'm sunk. I'll just move to Siberia. Nobody will ever find me there. Ah. Whoa, oh, oh, oh. <gasps> yes! My letter! Let's get out of here, Zoe! Whoa. Uh, hey, Blythe. Cause love's what I do do. Look! Ah, oh, it's Baba Lou and his girlfriend. Aww. Oh, that's so <laughs> sweet. Oh. You know, I gotta admit, they make a cute couple. Well, I suppose there is a time and place for love. Oh, Russell, I knew you had it in you. But this is not the time or place. Give me that. 